I think it's only big because of the stability and the success of WLW over time. That, that's what makes it big. I mean, I've been there for 25 years, and until Scott Sloan got there, I was the kid. You know, Jim's been there longer than I have. Bill's been there a couple of years longer than I have. Uh, and until Gary retired, too. But for the longest time, I was, I was the kid, and I've been there for 25 years. So it's that and the success of the station. You know, you've been riding a wave for, for the last 22 years of usually being number one. And when I say usually, it's 95 or 97 percent of the time. You know, not many stations enjoy that success. And so I, that's probably what makes it a story when, when that begins to change. I got emails from people who are saying the same thing. Um, the problem is they turned off my email, so I can't respond to them. So I, I, I would, and I meant to, and I would have if I had access to it, but I lost, I lost people's names, so I can't do that. But I, I certainly, I mean, I, I loved this job. I was you know, 25 years. I, I loved working there and listening to it. You know, to me, for my money, it's the most entertaining radio station in America. I mean, I didn't expect to leave this early. Um, I thought maybe by mid-July, word would get out and, and we'd go, but somebody had to be queen for a day and gossipy, so it got out early, and that's just the way the, uh, the company handles it. So I found out Saturday I was probably done, and I found out Monday I was. Don't cry for me. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I, I wish I had time to say goodbye, say goodbye properly. Um, not, not my option, but don't cry for me, because this is the most time I've had off since I got a paper route at age 12. So I've got most of two months. What sticks out is always the worst. I don't remember the best, but the worst was early on when I wasn't, I didn't have any say so into who the guests were. And some cavalcade of customs was in town, and they booked Burt Ward, who played Robin on Batman, and Nurse Goodbody from Hee Haw for an hour. An hour. I was out of questions in seven minutes. They, you could see at the time, I thought to myself, okay, that's why Johnny Carson books people for eight minutes. You can't do it. So what sticks in my mind, you know, and uh, it, it's been a privilege to do it. And, but it's, it's the worst things that I remember, not, not the best things, just because I guess they're just seared into your mind that much more. <laughs>
I read a lot, and I'd read a lot if I wasn't doing this. You know, I, I don't like being ill-informed. I don't like to hear something happen in the news. That I, I was on vacation last week, and this, I forget, I read it this morning, and it happened, something happened Friday or Saturday. But it bothers me when I miss something. It bothered me when I was in eighth grade, and I the picked up the paper, and Nixon was out of the country somewhere, and I said to myself, how come I didn't know that? So it's not like this is new. You know, it's, it's maybe I do this because I'm like that. You know, I don't read because I do this. I've always been that kind of person. My idea of a good time. Papers. <laughs> I read the Tribune every day. I have uh, WGN streaming in there right now, so I have the radio station on all day. I read the Trib. I try to get as up to speed on things as I can be. And I've got two months to, you know, to get it together, so I think I'll be in good shape. I know I'll miss it. I know I'll miss it. Uh, I'll miss the people I worked with, people who listened, people who called. Uh, emailers, I mean, all of it. I'll, I'll miss every bit of it, no doubt about it. Back to the whole idea that I wish I had an opportunity to say so long to people and, and show my appreciation because I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you emailed, I'm sorry I didn't get back to you. Um, I'll miss every aspect of this, but I'll be around town a lot and I hope to see you.